Facts. And was that R&B and hip hop, strictly R&B? What genre was that were you buying at the time? Um, at the time, I was buying strictly R&B. Like, I would buy all the people I saw on uh, VH1 Soul and, like, on okay. the, the music videos. Like, I used to tape them and rewatch them. And so I started just buying all the people that I would see on there. Yeah. Um, and it was strictly, like, R&B, but I grew up on, like, pop. Okay. Like, I grew up on, like, the Britney Spears, the... <laughs> Christina Aguilera's, the Aaron Carter's, and of course it was like Brandy and Monica, and, but anything that was like super mainstream, like that's what yeah. I knew of. <laughs> wow, so that's, that's you a real Valley girl then. How'd you get introduced to pop? Uh, just from like, you know, red, like, you know, Disney, Nickelodeon, like I basically knew what was like playing on there, like Mandy Moore, like you know, <laughs> yeah. I did like I did really love uh, growing up. I love Paramore. Um, yeah. yeah, so it kind of some different influences in there. Leo Black. <laughs> you just call him Bucket. I was like, oh, okay. Can we do that? So I did like a party next door Drake uh, medley. Okay. And I put it on SoundCloud and um, it did really well. So I was like, yeah, this is this is what I want to do. <laughs> what song was that? Party next door options. Then I went into like Drake, how about now? And then like, yeah, it was like that time. Like, around yeah. that time. Yeah, party Pete lit. Too. Like, I know. He just he just dropped like those tapes all over again too, like Persian Rugs, uh, West know. District Flow. He just retroed it, so I mean, people are still getting informed on P and D. I know. Still checking out. You early. You super I early. know. Facts. And is Party Next Door and Drake are were they some of the first artists to inspire you to become a musician? No, I've always wanted to do music. Like I've always sang. Uh, always said I was going to be a singer, like, when I was, like, two years old, like, always. Yeah. Um, but I think Frank Ocean really kind of, like, sparked that drive in me again. Like, when I heard Frank Ocean. Was it blonde? That was, like, I was, like. Was it orange? No, or no. Frank Ocean. It was, like, right before Orange. Okay. I think the first song I heard was Thinking About You. Okay. And Let then, like, up. I went back and heard Nostalgia Ultra and then the other, like, mixtape stuff. Lit. So this was when he was still our future. Yeah. Yeah. I only think no one knew he was gay at the time back then. People were just like, oh, Frank Ocean, he's a part of our future. And then later on, like, before he dropped Blonde, you know, then, the, then that came out, whatever. Yeah, yeah, well, it was right before Channel Orange and, um, like, right before he blew up, because I bought tickets to his concert at the Wiltern, yeah. and it was $35. Lit, lit. I fucked with the Wiltern. <laughs> Wiltern, that's on Pico, right? Or in Koreatown? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was 35 bucks, and then, like, that whole article came out where he did the letter, like, and then his concert sold out the next day. People were like, I'll pay you $150, and I was like, no, I'm going to go see Frank Ocean. <laughs> Hey, that would have been a cool little resale, like the Pokemon cards. <laughs> Leo Black. I, when I was younger, I thought I was going to, like, marry Little Romeo. I was, like, die hard. <laughs> Why I Little Romeo? Because, like, like in, I don't know, we're, like, he was, like... He was probably like 13 and I was probably like seven. And I'm like, oh my God, that's the guy for me. I don't know. It's just, he had like, he was like, had his own show, you know, it just, I thought that was, that was me. That was like all me when I was little. I was like, nobody could tell me different. This is what it is. <laughs> but now I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to his dad, Master P. They actually locked in, they in LA. 
right? Like yeah. the valley. So he pretty close. I mean, that may still be an opportunity to love Rome. He's still you out know there. What? He close. What's, what's funny is I met I met Master P um one time when I was uh I was like in the studio with a friend and uh he was working with Master P and he was in there very very smart guy like I was young and stupid like I don't know like I feel like I know what I'm talking about I had no idea what I was talking about <laughs> that's crazy